Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about climber's elbow. So climber's elbow is an unofficial term used to describe two conditions. Now the first one is golfer's elbow, where there will be an injury and inflammation on the tendon on the inside here, the medial epicondyle. So if you go and see a doctor or a physio and you tell them that you've been climbing and have pain here, they might diagnose medial epicondylitis. And the other condition, uh, which climbers often get, is on the outside of the elbow here, uh, commonly referred to as tennis elbow. And that's where the tendon in this little groove here on the outside is inflamed, swollen, painful. And again, a doctor or a physio might diagnose this as lateral epicondylitis. So tennis elbow is much more common in climbers. So that's what I'm gonna focus on today. So as I said, it's an inflammation of the tendon here. Now, what's actually happening? Well, it's most common in new climbers, and what happens is, let's say you're climbing, 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 you climb for two, maybe three days in a row as a new climber. Well, unfortunately, tendons in the body do not strengthen and increase in mass as uh, quickly as muscle does. So what happens when we climb and we're new? We, we climb, 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 um, all the muscles in our forearm get stronger fairly quickly, but the tendon does not. And the thing about this tendon here, the lateral epicondyle, is there's a lot of muscle tissue in the forearm that all tapers down and attaches to this one tendon. So it's loaded a lot. So if you climb for two or three days, what happens? Well, you get lots of little micro tears and little micro traumas in the tendon. And let's say you climb on the third day, at, a, at one point or another, there'll be so many little micro tears and traumas in this tendon here, which is mainly made of collagen, uh, the body will at one point or another say, hey, there's an injury here, there's trauma here, I need to kickstart the healing process. And that's when the body starts the inflammation. And inflammation causes weakness, it causes pain, it causes swelling, and you know that's when you really do need to stop climbing. Um, now, what can you do about it? Well, you can take uh, anti-inflammatories. There's been no evidence to suggest that stops the healing process. You can ice it, but and you, of course you can rest. But don't do that for too long, okay? Because tendons, again, unlike muscle, do not heal in the same way. Now we know that when you, you know, when you do lots of this with your bicep, okay, you get tears in your bicep, obviously, and you rest, and then the muscle. Um, strengthens and increases in mass over time and it's a fairly quick process. Again, tendons may take a lot longer. Now, after a sort of three to four day period when you've been resting and taking anti-inflammatories and so on, you need to start loading that tendon. Okay, you need to start exercising it and moving it and using it because otherwise there is a chance that the healing process will not go very well. So tendons are essentially collagen uh, uh, strands of collagen that are kind of neatly packed together in parallel lines okay now if you damage the tendon in some form obviously we want that tendon to to grow and, and strengthen and get those collagen fibers parallel so that the tendon can can work in a stronger more stretchy fashion but if you don't exercise the tendon after you've had tennis elbow you could possibly have a very weird healing process where the tendon kind of doesn't heal correctly and all these collagen fibers get kind of tangled up and and heal in a kind of uh, scar tissue kind of way um, so what can you do about it well after the resting process what you need to do is start eccentrically loading the tendon so eccentrically means you uh, you're doing an exercise where you're releasing tension okay a concentric exercise would be where you're using your muscle and your skeleton and your tendons to kind of uh, crank something back so uh, if I was doing a bicep exercise, this would be a concentric exercise where I'm lifting the dumbbell and an eccentric exercise would be where I'm slowly releasing the tension on, in my bicep, okay? So in the same fashion, when we are exercising our lateral epicondyle to try and get rid of this tennis elbow, we want to be doing this kind of action here like we're on a motorcycle, okay? So one thing you can do is um, get a drumstick or get a rolling pin or something and uh, attached to that um, rolling pin, just sort of a, a lead or a cord with a weight on the end, okay? So what I'd do is I'd slowly just crank up and, you know, turn the rolling pin 
and then very gently release it, okay? And you can do this with, say, a bar, a flex bar. You can get those online, which is just basically a rubber um, cylindrical piece. And then you twist the rubber and then slowly release it. Now, if you don't have any of those things, another thing you can do is just get loads of rubber bands, okay? So you uh, attach all the rubber bands and then you hold one end or put it under your foot, as the case may be. And then you wrap the rubber band around your hand and then just do that. Okay, so you're essentially using all the muscles in your forearms, which happen to be connected to the lateral epicondyle, okay? So you would raise up your hand and then slowly, slowly bring the hand down, again, eccentrically loading that tendon. Essentially, all these exercises, what they're trying to do is essentially to make you do that. Okay, that's all you're doing, but you have to make sure that there's some kind of tension on your hand and you're resisting it as you're moving it down, okay? So if you can find some kind of way to um, get some kind of weight on your hand and then do that, you will essentially be loading that tendon very gently in an eccentric way. Um, so that is basically the, you know, the rehab exercises. Make sure you look it up online. I've given you a brief overview of what it is how it occurs and what you can do but there is lots of information out there on how to treat tennis elbow one thing you must not do is sit on it don't just rest do the exercises and hopefully you'll be back on send train so there we go there is your uh, video on tennis elbow